Paradise is shaking. Tenerife, the dream island in the Atlantic, could soon become uncomfortable because Taida, the highest mountain in Spain and the symbol of the Canary Island, is showing worrying signs of activity. Volcanologists say a volcanic eruption is inevitable. Stay tuned to find out when, and most importantly, how intense this eruption could be. Welcome, everyone. Who here has been to Tenerife or the Canary Islands in general? Drop me a line in the comments and then imagine you're on a cozy vacation there on Tenerife. Sun Beach, a cool drink in your hand, but suddenly the ground begins to shake beneath your feet. You look up at the mighty tide and see a column of smoke rising. The volcano that created the island millions of years ago is awakening from its slumber. Pure fiction. Unfortunately not. Because current research findings suggest that Tay is more active than previously thought. To make sure you don't miss any volcanological developments in the future, leave a subscription for the channel right away. It's free, you'll never miss a video again, and you'll be really supporting me. Thanks a lot, guys. Tate is not only the highest mountain in Spain at 3,715 meters, but also the third highest island volcano in the world. Only the two Hawaiian volcanoes, Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea, are larger. From the bottom of the ocean to the top, Tahiti measures an incredible 7,500 meters. But size isn't everything. What's going on inside the mountain is much more important. And that is precisely what is worrying the volcanologists. The Scientific Committee for the Assessment and Monitoring of Volcanic Phenomena of the Canary Islands, or CCES for short, published a worrying report a few days ago. It states, the volcano Taidi is showing geophysical activity characterized by increased seismicity, geodetic deformations, and gas emissions. You might first wonder, what on earth does that mean? Let me translate it. The mountain trembles, deforms, and emits more gases than usual. And those are typical signs that something is brewing inside the volcano. Oh, oh. The committee convened after a series of tremors occurred on January 22nd near the village of Vila Flor at the southern foot of Tide. The earth tremors had magnitudes between 0.6 and 1.5, so nothing dramatic, but they occurred at depths between 3 and 13 kilometers, and that indicates movements underground. Itahiza Dominguez, director of the National Geographic Institute of the Canary Islands, explains, we know that an eruption can occur on Tenerife. The question is not whether there will be an eruption, but when. We need to continue monitoring the situation. The activity of the Tate has significantly increased in recent years. Monitoring networks have been recording geophysical changes under the mountain since 2016. And especially since 2022, signs of volcanic activity have increased significantly. Researchers are observing several worrying developments. First, seismic swarms. There are repeated series, small earthquakes around Tida, and that indicates that magma is moving underground. Second, ground deformations. Geodetic measurements show that the ground is slightly deforming. The summit of Taida, along with the island, has risen by one centimeter. And that proves that beneath the island where the magma chamber is located, the pressure is rising. And third, fluctuations in gas emissions. At the fumaroles, which are the outlets of volcanic gases, the chemical composition has changed. This is also an indication of increasing activity underground. According to the scientists, all these factors point to an increasing pressure increase in the hydrothermal system under the stratovolcano. In other words, the pressure inside Tahiti is rising. The only question is whether it will eventually become too great and lead to an eruption. To assess this, we have to take a look at the past. The last major eruption of Taida was quite a while ago. It took place in 1909, so over 110 years ago. Back then, the volcano didn't erupt at the main crater but at a secondary crater called Chiniero. The eruption lasted 10 days, but fortunately did not destroy any settlements. The last major eruption of the main crater was even longer ago, about 1150 years ago. At that time, the so-called lava negras, or black lava, poured over the flanks of the mountain and still covers a large part of the upper slopes of Tide today. I can already hear some of you cheering with joy. Over 1,000 years without an eruption. That sounds great. Unfortunately, not quite. Because volcanologists know that the longer a volcano remains dormant, the greater the accumulated energy can be when it erupts again. So Taida could have a lot of pressure in the boiler. And what's more, Taida is not just any volcano. It is considered one of the largest volcanoes in Europe and has been classified by the United Nations as one of 16 decade volcanoes worldwide. These are volcanoes that are particularly dangerous due to their size, location, and eruption history. That sounds somehow more threatening again, but what would actually happen if the Tahiti actually erupted? 
Volcanologist Juan Marti explains there could be a relatively unspectacular eruption at a side volcano or a larger eruption caused by the Teide itself awakening. The effects could therefore be very different. In the worst case, there could be huge pyroclastic flows which are avalanches of ash, rock and gases several hundred degrees hot that rush down the mountain slopes at high speed. In addition, there are lava flows, toxic gases and landslides. Calculations using artificial intelligence have shown that the excursion sites around Taide could be affected by such phenomena. The island's capital, Santa Cruz de Tenerife, and the tourist centers in the southwest of the island would also be affected by volcanic ash. This would have a massive impact on air quality, traffic and infrastructure. Beaches and tourist attractions would also be at risk. Air traffic would probably have to be shut down completely in the event of a major eruption. The ash cloud could paralyze the entire Canary Islands airspace. We remember the eruption of the Ejafjalla Jokul. Did I pronounce that correctly? Please write the correct pronunciation of Ejafjalla Jokul in the comments. Anyway, I'm talking about the eruption of the famous volcano, Iceland 2010. The one that brought European air traffic to a standstill for days. What's more, Tenerife is densely populated with over 900,000 inhabitants. In 2019, over 6 million tourists visited the island. All these people would have to be evacuated in an emergency. A logistical challenge of superlatives. Phew, that sounds like a real disaster scenario. But how likely is that really? Fortunately, the experts see no immediate danger, at least for the near future. Itaitha Dominguez emphasizes, there is no reason to panic, there is no concrete evidence of an imminent eruption. However, she also urges caution, but at the same time measures should be taken to prepare the population with exercises. So the authorities are taking the situation very seriously. They have massively increased their monitoring of the volcano in recent years. Today, Teide is one of the most closely monitored volcanoes in the world. A dense network of seismometers, GPS stations and gas sensors register even the smallest changes. Should the situation escalate, scientists would notice in good time. In the event of an impending eruption, the population would have at least 72 hours to evacuate. In theory and practice, it would definitely be very chaotic. What can we take away from the whole thing? Tate is definitely more active than long thought. An eruption in the next few years or decades is absolutely possible. In fact, the probability of this is increasing. At the same time, there is no reason to panic for the immediate future for holidaymakers on Tenerife. This means enjoy the island and the view of the majestic tide, but find out about current developments before you travel and follow the instructions of the authorities in an emergency. And if you want to be on the safe side, book a vacation on Fuerteventura. This island has not been volcanically active for 5 million years. Yes, I'll keep you updated on all further developments here on the channel. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button now. And interestingly, we are currently experiencing seismic activities all over Europe. We have a tectonic crisis in the Santorini archipelago in Greece with over 8,000 swarm quakes which could end in a volcanic eruption. How great is the risk of a volcanic eruption and an impending tsunami right now? We have explained that in the video in the top right corner. Be sure to click on it, it's very very exciting. And if you click on the bottom right, you'll find a video that the algorithm has selected for you. Every click helps the channel. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care guys.